Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a CD player that doesn't read discs. This is a dual DJ professional CD player, but this would apply to anything really. So this side, as you can see, reads the disc straight away. Or more or less straight away. This side's just going read, it's doing a click sound. Just ignore the missing flop there, it's only cosmetic, but and it won't read. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the laser uh, to make it read discs again. Uh, this is pretty easy, all you need is a, a little bit of time, a couple of screwdrivers which I've got down here. Primarily, usually, you'll need a bigger Phillips, like a, a two size one, and then a smaller one, or a small flat blade screwdriver, which we've got here. So that's pretty much all you'll need. Let's take this thing apart and I'll show you how to fix it. Generally with these professional CD players, most of the dual ones, they're all the same thing. There's an Electrovision one here as well that I'll show you in a moment. Basically the same unit. You've got two screws on each side. That I've already taken these out for this video just to make things a bit quicker and easier. You'll have a screw at the back here usually, in the middle, roughly where the power cable goes in. And then on some, you'll also have a screw on the top here in the middle. So just take those out, and then I'll put my phone on the stand now and show you how to take the lid off. Okay, so when the screws are out, uh, for the sake of this video, I've took them out in advance. They're all over here. Uh, I've also shot another video showing you how to fix um, sticky trays. So look in the description or on my channel for that. But anyway, uh, once you've took the screws out, so slide the tray backwards like that just so this tab comes out and then if you just get your fingers under the front bottom of the tray you have to sort of lift it on some of them because it sort of wraps around underneath and then just take it off like so that exposes all the inner workings obviously uh, if you're taking the lid off make sure that you turn the unit off when you're playing around with it uh, we're going to need it on in a moment though to adjust the laser whilst we're doing it to make it easier but this is the insides of this cam unit this here is an electrovision unit which is pretty much exactly the same there's a few minor differences but pretty much all of these cd players follow the same design so what you're going to want to do for this turn the unit on eject the disc from whichever side that you're having issues as you can see at the moment, I'm going to put the screen up so you can see it. Okay, so this is proving quite difficult to show you the screen and the uh, actual laser at the same time. Um, I'm going to sort of balance it there and I'll just show you in a minute. So generally, what you want to do is eject the tray. And then this little cross head here, you want to get your screwdriver into. Whatever the laser is currently set to, is just turn it slightly. You can turn it either way, just see if it gets better or worse. That seemed to get worse. I'm going to try it a little bit more the other way. That seems a bit better. I'm going to keep going that way. A little bit. Turn it a touch more. Oh. And that's actually reading instantaneously. That was... A rather good uh, guess, I got that spot on. You can see that's now spinning up and reading. And if I actually turn it back, I'm going to put it, I'm going to undo what I just did. I'm going to turn it back clockwise a bit more. And you can see it's gone back to not reading. If I turn it back, that is. a really minor adjustment. But uh, it's made a big difference. Your mileage will vary doing this. And you've just got to sort of fine tune it. Which is why I say to do it on. Keep trying it as you're doing it. But then once you've got it and you're happy with it playing. So as you can see. Oh. If I play that now. It'll play that track. We can go up 10 tracks. It'll play that one. Go back to one. And it's loading rather quickly. It's a bit of a delay there on track one. But 21. 
back to one again. Come on. There we go. That seems to be tracking and playing really quite nicely. So yeah, when you've done that, basically, you can just turn the unit off, um, screw it back together, and there you go, your, your unit's working. That's the same for pretty much any CD player. There'll be a little adjustment like that. They may be in a slightly different place, or look slightly different, but you'll still have this small adjustment thing. You just want a small screwdriver, I tend to use a flat blade one. Um, and little turns, see whether it gets better or worse. And that's pretty much it. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Any questions, leave them down in the comments section down below, or suggestions, recommendations. Uh, and if you're interested in future random technical videos like this one, then get subscribed to my channel down below. Thanks for watching.